Friends, this is one tough video to make, but today we're going to gain stream from our Windows 10 PC to our NVIDIA Shield tablet. And the first thing we want to do is take care of the necessities. You will need a Windows 10 based PC. You will need NVIDIA's latest software, you know, the GeForce Experience, as well as NVIDIA's latest drivers. You will need an Ethernet cable that plugs from the back of your PC in the Ethernet port into the Xbox One. You, this is a necessity because artifacting is a problem whenever you're trying to game stream and you want the fastest connection possible. So right now remember we need the Ethernet cable connected from our Xbox One to our PC. We need NVIDIA's latest software on our Windows 10 PC the GeForce Experience and we need to make sure that we add the VLC media player to our game stream options we're going to use it as if we were going to stream a game from uh, the PC to our shield tablet okay hold on one sec and I'll give let you have a look at what I'm using okay we're loading the GeForce Experience right now there it is okay and now you can see if you highlight the shield option the only thing I've added at this point is the VLC media player the contrast is kinda high and hard for our camera to pick up but I think you understand where we're coming from with this one the VLC media player absolutely crucial to doing what we're what we're trying to do right now okay Obviously, the hardware that's required to do this is a Windows 10 PC, an Xbox One, and an optional Xbox 360 if you want to stream 360 games through the Xbox One to your Windows 10 PC, then to your NVIDIA Shield tablet. And in this scenario, you would need three controllers. You need one for the Xbox 360, you're going to need one for the Xbox One, and you absolutely must have a PC controller plugged into your Windows PC, otherwise game stream will be blocked uh, through the, uh, through the uh, Microsoft software. It won't allow it until you actually connect a Windows PC controller, Windows compatible obviously. You're going to need a couple games. We've got Halo right here. And we also have Crackdown. Old school, but a lot of fun. Okay. Now, if you've got your game stream up and running, the next step is to simply start the second part of game stream, which is on your NVIDIA tablet. So go ahead and get that going now I'm using uh, my cell phone to make this video so I'm having to use the controller with the other hand so please bear with me alright there we go now we want to select the VLC media player option that we added earlier and it should start on your Windows 10 PC Now that being said, the next thing you want to do is press the Windows button on your PC's keyboard. And what that does is it sort of suspends the task at hand and takes you back to a main screen, which is exactly what you want it to do, okay? you have to go back to your shield tablet and resume the uh, NVIDIA game stream uh, task as well so let's just, let's go ahead and do that let's see here okay 
okay and you got the option to resume this and you want to say yes and if all goes well this screen will be duplicated on your shield tablet there it is half the battle is won once you see this screen again the Windows 10 PC NVIDIA Shield tablet mirroring that PC screen. Pretty cool. Alright, we're going to move to the next part. Okay, now that that's settled, we're going to start the game screen. So from your suspended screen, you need to select the option to start the Xbox One streaming app on your PC. So we're going to do that right now. and it should connect there we go it's running and if we check down at our shield tablet we're still good to go okay now you want to connect to your Xbox One so go back to the Windows 10 PC and select that option which is right here if your Xbox One wasn't already on you're gonna to have to select to turn it on it's gonna to try to connect on its own now sometimes mine will connect on the first try and other times it won't if it doesn't you will simply press the connect button again um, let's see here it looks like it's connected you're gonna know for sure that it has when you see the stream option come up okay go down to your tablet everything's still good streaming options over here in the corner okay now simply tell it to stream and if everything went well and I'm gonna presume it did you've got that same screen on your tablet alright now sometimes um, I have to restart my PC and run the app a second time because I get some artifacting I'm gonna test right now to see if this is the case let's see here so I just activated my uh, Xbox One controller okay now I'm gonna look over at my shield tablet and let's see remember I'm using one hand to film this not looking too bad looks looks like things are going halfway decent like they should um, got a little bit of lag here for whatever the reason may be not exactly sure why but for the most part things are working and like I said before sometimes I have to restart it in order to get everything to work like it should not exactly sure why it might be Microsoft software or it could even be something going on with my router but at any rate you should be able to press uh, uh, press the app to get it started do you own this game yes I own this game I've got it right here hold on looks like I'm gonna have to open Halo and put it in it would actually help to have the disc in the thing before you actually try to run the game so hold on for a second okay here's Halo going into the Xbox One okay and we'll give it a second shot try to run it one more time okay halo is running on the main screen and it is running on our shield tablet okay so it looks like we did get halo to load on our windows 10 pc and guess what there it is on our shield tablet.
uh, response is actually quite good as you can see and remember in order to actually hear the audio you're gonna need to use headphones because it does not broadcast audio to your shield device but with the wireless headphones on you'll have full audio uh, whatever surround sound features you had in your headphones you're gonna have in here so these are the basics okay for game streaming from your Xbox One to your Windows 10 PC if you want to add the Xbox 360 to the mix you have to make sure you use an HDMI cable to plug your Xbox 360 into the back of your Xbox One. The Xbox One then works as a pass-through, sort of a portal for your um, Xbox 360. Let's see if we can get that powered up. Okay, we're trying to power up the Xbox 360 right now. And what you would do in order to get the Xbox 360 to run through the Xbox One is you set it up as a TV device. Then you would select the TV option, which I have right here. And you'll see it here on the Shield tablet. You select that, and that should, in theory, power up my Xbox One. There you go. Since the Xbox One is being passed, or the Xbox 360 is being passed through the Xbox One, you get the same thing. Okay? Uh, last game I was playing, I guess, was probably, what, Earth Defense Force? Yes. So let's see if we can launch that somehow. My controller is looking like it's a little weak here. I've been doing a little bit too much. Let's see here. But here we go. Again, we're having controller issues. Battery down but you get the point. NVIDIA Shield tablet Xbox One, Xbox 360 games streaming to your Shield tablet. Thanks a lot for watching.